Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video, what we're going to be doing is having a look at the exhaust system on the uh, SV1000. Um, additionally, I'm also going to be replacing both of the mirrors with brand new ones, because as you can see, one is totally missing, snapped off in an accident, and um, naturally I bought a pair. Uh, these are pattern parts, they're not, um, they're not genuine Suzuki items, but they're pretty good pretty good copies and because they're not factory items I wanted to get a pair so that they're at least both the same if there are any differences. Okay let's pop that to uh, one side for the moment and have a look at these little goodies. Okay what we've got here is a set of second hand exhaust cans. Uh, exhaust bracket. Here's the, uh, here's the Gucci bit. What we'll do is just lay it down, roll her out. Ain't that nice? Nice uh, stainless Remus exhaust system, including the baffles. Uh, we've got all the bolts uh, and everything. We've got the old um, the old gaskets uh, still fitted, but I've got a pair of brand spanking genuine Suzuki items. Pretty nice, aren't they? Pretty nice. Okay, let's have a look at what we're going to be doing. Okay, as you can see, these uh, these are obviously second-hand, they're not brand new. Um, I bought these off a, uh, off a really nice chap by the name of Paul Couch um, on the SV, uh, one of the SV Facebook groups that I follow. Um, really, really nice chap. Um, got him at a really, really nice price and I popped over, collected him and had a good chat about, um, about his biking history. He was a really, uh, really, really friendly guy. Um, so if you're watching Paul, uh, thank you very much. Um, the brackets themselves, um, this uh, this one's perfectly fine. This one here has had a weld um, in the past, which isn't the best, and it is a little bit unsightly. So what I'm probably going to do is use the brackets off of these. Now I believe that the diameter of the exhaust is, um, the exhaust cans is the same between these Viper ones and these Remus ones. So um, hopefully we shouldn't have any problems. So. Um, obviously what I need to do is remove these ones uh, before I can fit these but what I'm going to do first is have a look at the mirrors. Okay so mirrors. Here's the, uh, the left-hand one. Uh, as you can see comparing it to the other OE one they're not too dissimilar they're, they're pretty, uh, pretty decent copies um, but uh, obviously this is going to fit right here and in order to fit it what I need to do first is obviously take off the old bracket where it's um, where it's snapped off in the past. So two bolts, dead easy. One, pop that in my pocket. Now what I have seen in the past is when, uh, when these mirrors have actually um, taken a bash like this enough to snap them off, um, they've hatch actually pulled the bodywork and cracked the bodywork. But in this, uh, in this instance, it's, um, it's okay. We're, uh, we're not experiencing any uh, other superficial damage other than to the stem of the mirror itself. Right, under the mirror, there is a rubber gasket just there. We're gonna use that on the new one. because as you can see, it isn't on this mirror. We'll pop it on there like that. Okay, right. What I need is to put the tool down so it's not in my way. Get one of the bolts. Oops, get the, pull the gasket in place. And get the bolt in. Oh, 
and then the same for the other side. Okay, right, let's nip them up. Right, now this is quite loose at the minute, but the bolt that goes through it can be tightened. And we can adjust the mirror to where we want it. Nice, right, okay, so this bolt under here, different size of Allen key. nice and nice and tight cool so that's one done what I'll do change out the other one and then I'll bring you back okay there we are both the mirrors on looking uh, looking a lot better better than the snapped off stump that was there before um, and they weren't expensive I think they were about 18.99 or something like that on eBay I'll, I'll uh, leave a link in the description if uh, anybody is in the market for a set of new mirrors okay then Right, probably the part that you all uh, came for. Let's have a look at these rumous exhausts. Right then, um, for the exhaust, all we need is two tools. We need an Allen key and a spanner. So let's uh, crack it off. Now, there are going to be a couple of scuffs left behind. And one of them is on this. Got that spacer on there. So what I'm going to uh, do at some point is buff that out. Another one will be that. So between the, that that one will buff out really easily. It's very very shallow. That one's quite deep, but I'll um, I'll buff it out with me. Uh, with my linisher, I'll probably be able to get that out and it'll probably, it, it, almost as uh, as good as new. Probably not 100% perfect, but a lot better than that. So I'll do that another day. Um, I don't need to film that. Um, and these, uh, this, this is the bracket from these exhausts. And as I said before, um, this one, obviously got the weld on, whereas these ones are uh, perfectly okay. And looking at them, they look very, very similar in size. So I think that'll be fine. Um, to mount the other exhausts on. First thing we need to do is undo these four bolts. And there we are, and that's those ones off. Um, as you can see, these have had a pretty hard life. It doesn't look like it's ever had a wash this bike prior to my ownership. Um, and they're well, well and truly scuffed. It's like that on both sides though, which is really, really odd. I don't know whether the other side's been brushed up against a wall or something by the previous owner getting out of the garage or a shed or something like that. Because there's no um, damage to like crash bobbins or anything like that, like there is on this side. Um, so uh, so yeah the uh obviously you can see the bodywork damage on here but um yeah um yeah they are they are what they are they're both they're both heavily heavily damaged so um whilst i was going to try and repair them but what i what my intention was to do was to chop, chop them down slightly to stubby in them re-rivet in them um and then trying to blend out some of this damage and then swapping them over because the viper um, insignia is on both sides and then swapping them over and then giving them a good clean and then all of this damage would have been on the inside that was um, what I was initially thinking but when these uh, Remus ones came up at the price that they came up for I thought why go all that hassle okay let's grab one of the Remus ones and uh, get it on 
Okay then, new exhaust can. What we need to do is just remove these bolts. I'm not going to reuse the old ones. These uh, these were a lot nicer. They're also drilled for lock wire. If uh, if you're so fancy, I may do. Why not? You know, it's uh, something that's an option. Pop them all down to one side. Okay, we've got the old um, the old gasket in here, which needs to be removed. And there we go. Get that out of that scrap. And grab a new one. These were uh, from Fowler's. There's the part number if you uh, ever require it. These were from Fowler's. I think they're just over six quid each. Um, naturally, you're going to pay delivery on top of that, but I bought them with a load of other things for one of the other bikes. So um, if you spend over 50 quid with Fowlers, you uh, you get free shipping. So it's worth bearing in mind. Anyway, that's uh, that's on there. So let's get it on the bike. Here we are. Right. Let's get a couple of the bolts in. There we are. That's all four in. Looking pretty tasty. Right. Okay, so this is the um, this is the bracket that came off the bike. Let's see if we can get it to to fit well. Okay, it seems seems okay. Certainly seems like it wants to fit all right. Let's um. Let's get a bolt in. Then the spacer. Then this big washer. And then the nut on the end. What I'm going to do is the, the damage to this, I'm going to point downwards so it's less, a little bit less noticeable. but I think we'll be okay. Um, we'll see how we get on. If I have to use these, then I can always swap them back, but I'm going to, uh, I'm going to have to do something about that because it's a little bit unsightly and I'm not too happy with it. But yeah, I think that looks, uh, looks a lot nicer than what was on there before. Hopefully they sound pretty sweet. Right, what I'll do, I'll get the one on the other side and then we'll get onto the, uh, the startup so we can see what it sounds like or hear what it sounds like more of the point. Um, so yeah, I'll bring you back in a moment once I'm on the other side. Okay, so there we are, both exhaust cans fitted and they do look nice. They look a lot better than the ones that I took off. That's, uh, that's That goes without saying. Obviously, what we want to do is we want to hear what they sound like. So uh, let's, uh, let's fire the bike up. First thing I want to do though is point out that at the moment I do have the baffles in. So um, what we'll do is we'll, we'll do a little bit of a before and after, um, baffles in, baffles out uh, kind of scenario. So let's, um, let's fire her up. There we are, as you can tell, they're actually fairly, uh, fairly meaty even with the baffles fitted.
Okay, I stop that before it gets too warm and uh, I ain't able to take the baffles out. Okay, right, let's pull the baffles out and then have another listen. To be honest, judging by the way these sounded uh, with the baffles fitted, I've got a feeling I'll need these baffles come, uh, come MOT time. There's one. Come on. And there's two. Right, let's hear let's hear it now. I'm really happy with that. That sounds like uh, that sounded like God clearing his throat. I'm very, very, very happy with the way they sound. Um, I was only revving it to about three, three, three and a half thousand RPM there, and it sounded pretty beefy. Okay, so there we are. That's uh, that's a nice little video, some mirrors and some exhausts. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all again for the next video. Thanks guys, see you soon, bye bye now.